Hello, good morning, first graders. How are you today? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? And what is our answer? We are always fine and we are always very well. Okay, guys, today we are going to continue learning about the external parts of the house. What are our objectives? Recognize some internal and external parts of the house and use the preposition in to identify the parts of the house where the family is. Okay, so let's start. This is a house. Do you remember what are the parts of the house? The external parts. We have the window, garage, the garden, the terrace, yard, we have the door, and the roof. We also have the fence. So these are the external parts of the house. Remember, the house has rooms inside and different parts outside. In some of these parts, we can enjoy with our family. So let's repeat. Roof, garage, garden, door, window, terrace, fence, yard. Now that we have review about the external parts of the house, let's match the word and the picture. But before we start, let's review about the alphabet. So let's spell the word. H, O, U, S, E, house. G, A, R, V, E, N, garden. G, A, R, A, G, E, Crash. F, E, N, C, E, Fence. Now let's read together. House, Garden, Garage, and Fence. Okay, now that we know about the external parts of the house and how to write them, let's try to find in the word search the different words we have on the cloud. So let's start with terrace. Where is terrace? Oh, here, here, I see. Terrace. Very good. Thank you so much for your help. Then we have yard. Yard. Where can I find yard? Oh, I see here there is a Y. So this is yard. Then we have fence. Oh, look, look, just right there. Fence. Then we have, oh, what is the next one? I have garden and garage. So do you see them on the top? Oh, here, you see? Garden, garden, there is a garden. And on the top, we have garage. So we have terrace, yard, fence, garden, and garage. So now let's practice about questions, W questions. What is this? What is this? Do you remember the name of this picture? Fence. This is a fence. That's the way we have to answer. This is a fence. What is this? House. So what, what do you have to answer back? This is a house. Good. What is this? Do you remember the name of this external part of the house? Yard. This is the yard. Very good. This is a fence, this is a house, this is the yard. So let's continue. What is this? 
Do you remember the name of this place? This is the garage. This is the garage. What is this? This is the terrace and the place where you plant flowers. What is this? This is the garden. So let's practice again. This is the garage. This is the terrace and this is the garden. Okay, now we have to practice about the preposition in. In indicates the position of something. Okay, let's see. This is a dog. This is a boy. This is a man. And this is a bird. Okay? So where is the dog? Where is the dog? Do you see the dog is in the house. My dog is in the house. Very good. Oh, look at the boy. It could be a brother, right? Where is he? My brother is in the box. Do you see? He is in, in the box. Okay, let's continue. Where is the bird? The bird is in the nest. And the last one. My father is in the taxi. So let's review. My dog is in the house. My brother is in the box. The bird is in the nest. And my father is in the taxi. Very good. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. The family is in the house. This is the family. Where is the family? You see, this is the house and the family is in the house. So let's review about the members of the family. We have the brother, mother, father, sister. Do you recognize the last one? Yes. Father. This is the grandfather. Brother, mother, father, sister, grandfather. How do you call them together? Family. And where is the family? The family is in the house. So let's practice. Where is it? Okay, let's review the external parts of the house. Do you remember what is the name of this part? Yes, this is the garage. And this is the garden. And at the end, we have a house. This is the house of the dog. Okay, let's practice. Where is the car? The car is in the garage. Okay, let's practice here. Where are the flowers? Where do you find the flowers in a house? The flowers are in the garden. Perfect. Okay, here we have, where is the dog? Where is the dog? The dog is in the house. In red color, we have written the preposition in to indicate the position where things are. The car is in the garage. The flowers are in the garden. And the dog is in the house. Okay, now let's review about the pronouns. Who is she? Who is he? Who is he? Who is she? And who is he? Remember, we use she for female and he for male. Who is she? Do you remember? What member of the family? She is mother. She is my mother. Okay, who is he? He is my father. And who is he? Do you remember? What is this member? He is my grandfather. Who is she? Brother or sister? Sister. Sister, very good. She is my sister. And at the end, who is he? He is my brother, mother, father, 
grandfather, sister, and brother. So let's listen to match. You have to match what you listen with the picture. My mother is in the garden. So what of the three pictures shows that mom is in the garden? Picture number one, picture number two, or picture number three? My mother is in the garden. So the number two, right. So this is my mother and she is in the garden. My grandfather is in the yard. Oh, you see, there is the grandfather and is in the yard. And at the end, we have the car is in the garage. There is the car. The car is in the garage. So I need more help here. Where is the family? And here is when we review about the internal parts of the house. Do you remember the name of this room? where you prepare the food and the delicious breakfast with your family. This is the kitchen and the place where you go and sleep. It's the bathroom. Aha, uh -huh, the place where you watch TV and you can speak. You can share a conversation. This is the living room. And at the end, it's the place where you sit down with your family and eat your lunch, your breakfast or dinner. This is the dining room. Okay, where is the family? Oh, you see here, there is the family. So in the number one, where is the family? The family is in the kitchen. Where is the family? Look at the second picture. How do we call to this part? It's the place where you sleep, remember? The family is in the bedroom. And we continue, where is the family? The family is in the living room. They are watching TV. They are sharing a conversation. And at the end, where is the family? The family is in the dining room. And do you know where is this family? In the house. Very good. The family is in the house. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Where are they? Now let's find the different members of the family. Now that we know how to recognize the different places outside of the house and inside of the house, let's practice this. Number one, where is the car? Can you tell me where is the car? The garage. The car is in the garage. Where is my sister? Can you help me to find my sister? Where is sister? Very good, my sister is in the terrace. Number three, where is my grandfather? Where is it? Oh, you see, he is just right here between the flowers. Wow, my grandfather is in the garden. Where are my parents? Oh, you see, here, here. My, grand my parents are in the yard. Where is the bird? Do you see any bird on the picture? Oh, I don't see. Where is it? The bird. Oh, there, there. You see what color is the bird? It is a blue bird. Very good. So where is it? The bird is in the garden. Thank you so much for helping me to find my family. Thank you so much for helping me to find my pet. This is my pet, the little bird. Okay. I need more help from you. I have some stuff to place on the different rooms. Remember, in the house we have the kitchen, bathroom, living room, and dining room. Let's review our vocabulary. Bed, sofa. We have the table where you sit to eat. We have the stove, lamp. This is the TV or television and the freezer. Okay, let's start. Where can I place my bed? In the kitchen? In the dining room? No, no, no. In the bedroom. Thank you. And my sofa, where can I place my sofa? I put my sofa in the living room because I need to sit down with my father to speak. Okay, the table and the chairs to sit down and eat. 
in the dining room. Ah, okay, continue with the stove. Where can I put it? Sure, in the kitchen. I need to prepare my food. And my lamb. Next to my bed, possibly? Yes, this is in the bedroom. The TV. It could be in the living room. Sometimes we like to put the TV in our bedroom, but okay, the living room is okay. And the freezer, where can I put my freezer? In the kitchen. Now I have ordered my house. Thank you, thank you for your help. So now let's read. Remember, we have to say the word. Uh, when you look at the picture, you say the word, okay? This is grandfather, the garage, mother, and this place, garden, family, and the yard, okay? You are going to help me to complete the sentence. My grandfather parks the car in the garage. My mother plants flower in the garden. My family celebrates my birthday in the yard. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. So let's review once again. We have the roof, window, door, fence, yard, the garden, the garage, the terrace. Perfect. Time for creation. What we have? We have another way to make our own house just using paper and simple materials. Remember, you have the creation. So you can use, in this case, we are using uh, it's a kind of cartoon, yes, and paper, or you can decorate using different colors, okay, different markers. You can add the external parts, like the garage, like the garden. Mm -hmm. You can put the roof of the color that you like best. It's just your creation. And here, let's sing to say goodbye. Remember, this is the song about the shelter. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. The wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. The wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. Oh, it's time. This is the family in the house to see you. Goodbye. Have a wonderful week. Remember, keep practicing your vocabulary. Do your art craft. If you want to contact me, I am in teacher Paula underscore connectate. And just remember, the dear students, if you want to avoid COVID-19, what you must do, wash your hands, keep your social distancing, Sanitize your hands with alcohol, wear a face mask. Okay, if you can stay at home, better stay at home. Thank you so much to Mrs. Daira Creighton. She is our academic coordinator, National Directory of Foreign Language Teaching. And we can let you go without saying thank you. Thank you so much to the sponsor who make it possible. Thank you, and I see you next week. Bye-bye.